Welcome to Silmac Machinery's Knowledge Base. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the Dell M69 Touch. So we turn on the isolator, wait for the screen to come on, we press the reset button at the rear. We need to make sure ACAS is at zero and at the moment key position is number two, that the emergency stop is reset. And I will do a reset on the foot pedal. First thing we need to do is reference the machine. I'm going to product, a drawing that we did earlier, the tool setup is fine, bend sequence is fine, the program looks good, we'll press auto and we'll press start. The R axis and the X axis and Z1 and Z2 will now reference, we will show this later. Once they have reached position you can also press the up pedal and Y1 and Y2 will reference. We now do a speed check for the laser guards by pressing the down pedal, which then tests the speed and says that it's happy with it. The machine is 3D. We go to Ben 1. Let's draw a new product. We're going to uh, New product, we give it a number, let's say five, you can give it a name, anything you want. We enter this, we enter a thickness, we enter the type of material, we enter the bending length, could be 500. Do you want to work inner or outer? We'll work outer and we'll use the radius and the bend allowance as calculated and accept. Comes up with a drawing package. You can shrink this down, press here, press here, press here, press here. This is how simple it is to add a bend. You can change the figures if you're not happy with them by pressing twice. If you want 50 mil there, if you want 50 mil there, you can put whatever length you want there. So, let's add another bend to this in 3D. Okay, so this is the edge we want to add a bend. So we press this, and we press here. We can turn it round, shrink it down if you want to. Press here, press again there, and press here. You can modify those sizes by pressing on them, the same as before. If that is what you are happy bending, we can now press tool setup. This is the original tools from the last job, so we'll delete the config, and we will delete The adapter. <clears throat> so now we will auto select. Also, we will add an upper adapter. We'll now pick a bend sequence and we will bend, 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 and the product is completely bent. There's your back gauge probes. If you want to move those over, press on the particular one you want, move it over a bit. If you want to move this one over, move it over a little bit and accept. If you now want to see it in a different type of view, you can see it in that view. Go to bend one. We go to automatic, we save, we press run and we press graphical. If you want to see it in full graphic, you can. If you want to see it in 2D, you can. The machine is now ready to run. We can show it in a moment, actually bringing the beam up and down.
just to show that um, you can see different programs here. Some have been done in numerical and some have been done in graphical. If you see an actual drawing in 3D you can tell they've been done graphical. You can import um, DXF, you can import 3D programs. Um, once the programs are in here, they're very easily pulled up. There's a drawing of one from earlier. Let's go back to products. We can call this one up, which has been done, I believe, in 2D. We can call this one up here. And I believe this has been done 3D. Another one there, been done in 3D. But basically it's so simple to use. New product, give it a product ID, DGH, anything you like, and enter it. Give it the material thickness, give it the type of material, aluminium, except you can, as simple as that, if you want to shrink it down, if you want to tell it that that is 50 mil, put a dot there, put a dot there, press on that, press on that, 25 mil, press on this twice, 50 mil, if you want to add another bend, you press on the thing till the measurement comes up, 25 mil, press on this twice, you might want 250. This can be any panel. You go into the tooling setup, delete the config from the last job, yeah, delete the adapter, you can press auto select, it chooses the length of the tool required, add ad upper adapter, it chooses the correct length in there, we now set a bend sequence, so we start off here, we bend, we bend, we bend, we bend, we bend, and I don't think that's possible. You can see different sequences, but this sequence has chosen that it wants to bend number three and four the wrong way round. And as you can see, it's brought it up in red. So if we look at the bend sequence, we can say new and unbend everything and then bend it again and now it's completely bent with the different sequence chosen by the computer and everything has now changed to green sometimes you can force even in red the bend as long as you're happy with the bend sequence yourself and it's not going to crash so you can still bend even when it's suggesting you don't. So if I press graphic we can see this product in graphic go to Ben 1 you'll see there's your probes Ben 2 you can see Ben 3 Ben 4 You can have an assignment now, back gauge positions, general, accept, and basically fully automatic run graphic. You can look at it in graphical, you can look at it in 2D. The only thing left to do is the corrections as you fold the sheet to make sure it's folding exactly correct. With this bend sequence, but if you want to see the bend sequence and modify it in any way, shape or form, we open up the bend sequence page and we can swap any bend sequence round that we want to. Um, we can swap the bends, move the bend, um, so we'll click on that one, enlarge, you can see that particular one.
um, press end, show bend sequence. If you want to swap one and two, which you wouldn't, but you never know, it might be a complicated job. But this is where you actually swap your bend sequences round if you want to manually do it yourselves. The machine does compute so many different calculations. Um, the best thing to do is just try the next one and it's usually okay. So, let's move on to the programming page where we can show that you can shift the gauge. The gauge, when you look at it in auto, has two different levels. You can use the first level or you can use the less second level when the job is sticking out the back and you don't want it dropping down. So basically you go into program, you go into shift gauge. Obviously on this particular bend you can't, so you accept it. Um, let's have a look on a different bend. On this one, we'll try layering the finger, but as you can see it would crash into the bottom tool, so we'll cancel that. But if it was a longer bend, we could do that. Although you're running a machine in full graphical, every bend can be adjusted for speeds, for the method, the opening of the beams. You can change that to 50 if you want. You can change the dwell time, the decompression, the speeds. If you have a job where the beam at the back is going to come and crash, or should I say the back gauge is going to come and crash, you can put delay, delay times in. Um, you can put retractions and wait for retractions. If you're not happy with where the X exactly has come or the R, you can modify those figures. The same with Z1 and Z2. Everything is adjustable. You can look at the product properties if you want to, just to double check. You can make notes, or you want to edit notes. If you want to change tools, which tools do you want to modify? If you want to shift the product and move it to the left or to the right, you can do that. And then once you've done that, you save. Let's show you how simple it is to do a numerical program. So basically in products, I say new program rather than product. We give it an ID, one, two, three. If you want to work in absolute or angle. The thickness, material, Stainless steel. We go into the tool setup. Delete config. Yes. Delete the adapter. You could press auto select and add adapter and it'll adjust it to the length required. We can come back to this later if we want to modify the program. So the first bend, let's say we want to bend 65 mil. Let's say we want to do a 90 degree fold. We want to open it up 100 mil after we've bent. That's as simple as it is to put a bend in. To insert another bend you would press add a bend. Let's say for instance this bend wants to be 90 degrees or 95 degrees. Let's say you want the back gauge at 145. Go back to bend 1, auto, run and that's the program running. You can view in main you can view in bends. That will be bend one. Back gauge will move to its next position.
then it goes back to its first position. This is called numerical programming and is always running in the background even when you're running a graphical program Always remember, if you press program on any particular bend, you can modify even a graphical program. It's as simple as that.